Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So a couple of weeks ago, I decorated for a teddy bear themed baby shower. And let me show you the centerpieces that I created. So in this video, I wanted to walk you through step by step how I created those centerpieces just in case you have a client that's asking for these centerpieces or just in case you're gonna DIY your own event, all right? So let's get started. All right, guys, so let me walk you through all of the materials that you're gonna need to create the base of this centerpiece, okay? So you're gonna need a box. I got these white boxes from Michaels. As you can see, this one here is still in the wrapping. And the great thing about these is that you don't have to put them together. They come like this. As you can see, I'm just taking this lid off to show you that it's really easy to remove the lid off of these boxes, okay? So you're gonna need boxes. You're also going to need PVC pipe. So let me show you. This is the PVC pipe that I just got from Home Depot. Now this is really long. These are 10 feet high. So I just wanna let you know if you're picking these up in a car, you may have to cut it before you actually can put it in your car. And don't worry, if you go to Home Depot, they will do that for you. So this is mine, I just cut it in half. Now you will need a PVC cutter because we're gonna cut these PVC pipes down even more. So you're gonna need a PVC cutter and you're gonna need a tape measure. So you can get both of these at Home Depot or you can get it right off of Amazon as well, okay? Now let me show you, you're also gonna need some foam. So I went right to Dollar Tree and got this foam. They have it in green or white. It really does not matter, okay? You can get either color. And last but not least, you are gonna need some glue. So I got some Gorilla Glue that I'm gonna be using, okay? So these are all of the materials that you're gonna need to be able to create the base.
right guys, so these are the centerpiece stands. This is what they're gonna look like after you finish spray painting them. So I wanted to show you, I actually created two different sizes for these centerpiece stands. So this one is 31 inches tall and this one is about 29 inches tall, okay? You don't have to do that. If you want all of them to be the same height, then you can just pick which one works for you, okay? So I still have the bags on these, as you can see, because I wanted to cover the white box with the bag, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is just take these bags off and then I'm gonna add this fake snow, which ends up looking like clouds, okay? So I am going to take this fake snow and then I'm gonna add it to my bases. Afterwards, I'm gonna blow up some balloons, put that on top, and then of course, I have to add my teddy bear. And I'll make sure I show you what it looks like after I'm done.
right, so now I'm gonna take my hand pump and blow up these small five inch balloons. You're also going to need 260 balloons for this step. So I'm gonna just pump some air into my five inch balloon and then I'm gonna take my hand and I'm gonna let some air out, but I'm gonna keep my hand on the five inch balloon. I'm like cupping it, right? So that it can keep a nice round shape. And this is what it looks like, okay? So you wanna make your five inch balloons really small, okay? So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna take some air out and as you can see, I'm holding on to that balloon so that it has a nice round shape while I'm taking the air out. And now I'm gonna tie them together, okay? You don't wanna put too much air in your five inch balloons. You want them nice and small like this. So now I have two of them, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I am going to tie my 260 balloon around one pair of the five inch balloons. And then I'm gonna take the other end of the 260 balloon and tie it around the other pair of five inch balloons, okay? And now I'm gonna show you how to use that 260 and wrap it around the bigger balloons. Oh. 